Hey everyone, so I wanted to go over the Train Heroic app. So once you download it in the app store, you're just going to click on Train Heroic. Um, and you'll see this lovely photo. There's a quick little walkthrough if you scroll to the right, kind of some of the features of the app that can be helpful. Um, but you're going to get an email request once we send you. Um, so you're going to get an email request from us. Once you have that, you can go down to the create where you'll enter your, your name, email address, and then set up your password. Um, and then they'll automatically link us, link you to the gym. Uh, but for me in this instance, I'm just going to quickly or somewhat quickly type in um, my information. There's no other way to do this. And then I'll type in, you know, the thing that gets me in to my account. Hopefully, remember all that information. Awesome. So I'm just gonna quick it real, real quick over just to what your screen would possibly look like. So when you get into the home screen, you're gonna see all your past workouts listed here. Um, and kind of some of the information here. So you'll have some data. So it looks like on Wednesday, I completed a strong um, and I did one out of three blocks. That just means like at the gym, we have like the A's, B's and C's. Those are all called blocks. And so I only did one out of three. My readiness score for the day was a three, three and a half out of five. So not bad. It took me one minute and I said it was a three workout. And I lifted in the, in the entirety of, oops, of the workout, um, 200 pounds. So there's some fun information there where you can kind of look at the past workouts um, and also kind of what, what we've logged for you or any updated notes. And so the other one we can look at is the calendar. So I can look at workouts that I have for the day. So if I'm here, I can see what I have for the day. I can see what I have listed for uh, next week. So each day as part of the base, you're gonna have four workouts um, or workout templates. So we'll have the strong and the sweat. Um, the coach will tell you what, which one you're doing. But again, we'll be tracking. You can track if you want, but this is again, more for you to kind of see uh, where your workout kind of changes. So if I'm looking at uh, at the top here, October, Wednesday, strong option two. Um, this is a template that we'll be starting you with. So if, if we decide to do that, I'll hit the start. And yes, I'm going to move it to today. It's going to ask a quick questionnaire, which you can use. The questionnaire helps give you a readiness score. It also helps us to kind of know how you're feeling. So again, depending on your personality, you might like this, you might hate it. You can skip it by swiping right. Um, so if I say sweet quality was, uh, I had an okay sleep today. Uh, my mood, it's just a little off today. Uh, my energy, you know, I'm feeling okay. You know, it's stress, eh, it's all right. I'm um, feeling um, a little bit sore. Cool. So I have my rating score is a 2.8. So what that would tell me as a coach is it's not bad. So I can round up to a three, um, but maybe won't go crazy hard today or try to really push the weights. But it brings us to our first screen. And so here we have a dumbbell uh, single leg deadlift with a dumbbell retraction. So we could click over to the side here and enter in how much weight we did. So maybe I did uh, 26 pounds on that set. I could auto fill by clicking auto fill if I wanted to, if I was just gonna stick with it. And I could always go back and also change that weight. And it's like, well, I actually ended up going uh, to 30 pounds uh, for that last one. I'm just going back and forth on the sets. I could also, um as a coach we would have our own where we can modify but this is kind of where we make your program special to you so for an example um maybe let's go to the next we'll swipe right to get to the next superset so for example reverse crunch you know maybe that's kind of bugging the back a little bit uh, we could go here and i could swap out the exercise um for that so you could do that but, but the coaches will be taking care of this this is where you might see uh, it changing long term and becoming more customized to you. So maybe we're switching that to a plank, something like that. So we're swapping in uh, the plank instead. And so we're customizing it to you and to your goals uh, to making it your program. And so again, we can go through, we finished maybe our B's. 
Um, and then we're on to our, our C's, entering what we want to. As a coach, we're gonna be tracking some of their bigger movements. So example, floor press, we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna be tracking that weight. Uh, you can do it as well, but we'll definitely track the weight there. Maybe not all sets, but the last ones. Uh, so a pullover we would track, lateral lunges. Some of the ones where we might not necessarily track a weight, uh, it's gonna be something like a, well, these all have pretty much weight. So a good example is gonna be that, I'm gonna make you sick. Uh, so like a plank, we might track real quick. Yeah, you did 30 seconds this week. So maybe maybe next week, we'll really kind of push for, for 45. But there's just gonna be a couple of things, um, maybe more body weight, we won't have a weight for. And then as you swipe to the end, you could leave uh, how you're feeling. So if it was easy, super hard, maxed out today, you can just kind of judge where it was at, how many minutes was it, leave any comments or feedback, um, and then go and finish session. And so again, if you're in the gym, we're of course going to be interacting with you and kind of taking those notes. Uh, for clients that are doing some more distance coaching, it's a good way to interact back and forth with the coach, give feedback, uh, making tweaks as well. And so it gives you a nice little summary here. I could take a photo of myself, like flexing or something, and post it. I don't have to. I don't know why I would do that. Um, at the bottom here, you could message your coach uh, any alerts. So if you got an updated program or anything like that down there, if you go to your initials, which are mine, you'll get a kind of a stats screen. So looking at uh, total sessions you've done, how much you've lifted, how many reps you've done lifetime, uh, looking at your last 10 workouts, just reps and volumes. Again, a lot of these are made up for me. So as we've been messing around with the app ourselves, uh, some kind of cool ones. If you go to see exercise history, you can search any exercise that you've done. Um, this is our entire mix of our database and the train heroic database. So as an example, if you did a, a two arm dumbbell clean, I don't know why that's there, but you'll see what your personal record is PR, which apparently mine was five reps at 44 pounds. And here the WM stands for weight max. So this is an estimated max, meaning they think my run rep max would be about um, 50, well, really 51 pounds. I uh, like the same with a barbell squat based off of this and the calculation, it'd be about 82. Um, some fun things, you can click on individual work, uh, exercises, see your complete history if you wanted to. Uh, you could also hit stats. And what this does is just how many times you might've done the exercise, personal best, most recent, and then as it gathers information, it can kind of help you know where you might be at for other rep ranges or, pro or protocols. So um, for example, my five reps was 44. So my working max, meaning a weight that I could probably do multiple sets with um, is gonna be this number. Um, a personal record is just what you've actually done. So an example, if I, if I was wanting to do three reps, it's estimating I can go like 47 pounds. Uh, if I want to do seven, it's gonna say recommend about a 35 pound uh, weight. So that's kind of cool to use as well. So that's pretty much the app. Uh, what it allows you to do, big one is kind of see your workout, your information uh, kind of changing, kind of interact with the coaches. If you're really into the readiness score stuff, like I, I find it cool as, as, a, as a nerd of fitness, uh, just giving me a basis of how hard I should push, uh, the intensities. So on a day where you're, you're really readiness high, that's a good day to try to push that intensity of the workout a little higher versus when you're feeling a little low or moderate, keeping it moderate or, or lower to for help uh, get recovery. Again, you can use it as much as you want or as little. We'll be tracking uh, still regardless with the app. And so if you just want to use it to kind of check in on numbers or past past workouts and stuff like that for fun. Awesome, just being like, wow, I really love the, the front squat. I just wanna kind of see my history of the front squat and kind of see where I at and see where maybe I, maybe I started at and stuff like that. So hope you enjoyed this. I know it was long um, and if you have any questions, love to talk about it.
you know, see you soon.